So word on the street is that Calais Campbell actually isn't, you know what, let me let him tell it. My last question to you, and I'm not trying to break news at uh, 20 past three in the morning in the UK, so you're not going to retire then? Oh yeah, no, I'm not retiring. <laughs> I'm not retiring. <laughs> I watched this game, and I'm the feel I have right now, after seeing them celebrate the football championship, I have a desire to go out there and play football and to compete, so I'm definitely not retiring, I'm coming back. All right, Ravens, Eric Acosta, it's your move. Yeah, this feels like a dream. And you know just what I mean. You see my boy, he like gotta made it, how to made it. Boy, he's a fan, and he like the Ravens, like the Ravens. And you know just what I mean. So YouTube team, keep it clean. What's going on? It's Engraven here with another video. And in this video, whew, what a great Super Bowl that was, especially the ending with the Rams getting the win over the Bengals and sealing the deal and, and sending a lot of those guys into just the upper echelon of NFL players because the Rams, they certainly had some guys that accomplished a lot in their careers, uh, but they just had not gotten over the top. You got guys like Aaron Donald. You got guys like OBJ, Eric Weddle, shout out to him, uh, Matt Stafford, and so many more. We can go down a list, but now they're Super Bowl champions. They have achieved the highest high in the NFL but there's somebody else who's been to a Super Bowl but he hasn't been a part of a winning Super Bowl team yet um, and that guy is Calais Campbell and he's had he went through all the, the defeats as far as stats he's accomplished so much in his career but that that Super Bowl trophy that would be what would put Calais Campbell over the top and that would put him also in the upper echelon when it comes to NFL players. And it was looking like last season for the Ravens, they were going to have a shot. They were really going to have a shot uh, because the way that this roster was assembled, it was like, oh, man, like, oh, we loaded. We ready to go. But, of course, everything fell apart. Injuries happened, and this team was not what this team was supposed to be uh, in the long run. Uh, so Calais Campbell, he made it through the year um, and he, he had an up and down year, uh, but he was one of the leaders on this Ravens team. Um, and he did have some crucial moments where he made some big plays. And, and you could see that he still really had a love for the game. But then he started talking retirement. And whenever NFL players, when they start talking retirement, that means it's bound to happen sooner rather than then later so Calais Campbell is a free agent and he's had presses with the Ravens uh where he spoke about it. he said well uh, if the Ravens want me back ah, uh, yeah I'll come back if I don't retire then I would only want to be back here and we've heard players say that before we, we we've heard that talk before but it hasn't always resulted in those players returning to the team um, Eric DaCosta, he said that he's continued to have conversations with Calais Campbell uh, about his future. But Calais Campbell, he let it be known last night, like straight up, I'm not retired. I'm definitely not retiring. So he was straightforward with it. He was blunt with it. He's, uh, nope, I ain't going nowhere. I'm definitely playing next season. So now what about the Ravens? What do the Ravens do? How do the Ravens operate with that? Well, of course, I'm sure there won't be not one Ravens fan who wouldn't want to bring Calais Campbell back. And I'm sure there wouldn't be one Ravens front office person who wouldn't want to bring Calais Campbell back. So I would expect them to get something worked out. But now, here's the kicker. It cannot just be Calais Campbell. And what I mean when I say that, they cannot put all their eggs into the Calais Campbell basket and be like... All right, cool. We're done. And of course, they can't do that either way because Brandon Williams, he's a free agent. Derek Wolf, uh, I expect him to possibly be a, a cut. Um, and not even to for them to gain so much cap room because I know with Derek Wolf, if they cut him, they don't even gain that. They wouldn't even gain that much cap space. But I just, I, I don't know. We'll see what happens with him. Um, but the Ravens really need to get younger on the defensive line and more importantly than even getting younger they need to get more disruptive and that was one of the words that Eric DaCosta used when he talked about the defensive line when he talked about the defense overall he said he wanted more turnovers but he also said he wanted to be more disruptive Calais Campbell is a great great player 
did his thing. And, of course, like he said, he, he had some very special moments this year with the Ravens. But they need more than that. They need more than that. They, they need a real interior pass rush. They need it. So bring back Calais Campbell. That's cool. That's great. He's a leader. You got that veteran presence, and you got a guy that can still make some plays. But it, you got you to gotta do more than that. You got to do more than that. And don't let and, – and this is hard to say. I was going to say don't let Calais Campbell be the best – interior pass rusher that you bring in and what I mean when I say that you need somebody that is faster younger possibly stronger you, you need somebody that can really make this thing happen because the Ravens if their pass rush is going to have any success especially against going against the quarterbacks that they got to go against in the AFC in the NFC too in this in this passing league quarterbacks are getting the ball out faster than ever and one of the Ravens' biggest problems, especially when it came to Wink, was the pass rush. And we know that with Wink, he would send literally everybody sometimes, and they still wouldn't get there. But what was the biggest issue with the Ravens' pass rush? In my opinion, it was the lack of internal pressure. It was the lack of an internal interior pass rush because they guys would get there from the outside. But the quarterback would be like, oh, I ain't got no pressure up the middle. Oh, let me just step up and evade this guy coming from my right and evade this guy coming from my left. Let me just step up because Ravens ain't bringing no interior pressure, so I ain't got to worry about that. They ain't got no interior pressure, so I'm good. I'm straight. So they would just step up, make a guy miss. Ravens don't get the sack. And it's a completion. It's a touchdown. Even if it's an incompletion, they, they still had that, that lack of interior, uh, lack of that interior rush was a problem. And it was a big problem. So bringing back Calais Campbell would be cool. I got zero problem with it. But Ravens really need to upgrade this defensive line in a major way. A major way. I don't expect them to bring back Brandon Williams. Um, but we'll see what happens with that. You still do have Broderick Washington. You still do have Justin Matabike. Justin Ellis is a free agent. Uh, so we'll see what happens with them. But the Ravens really need to do some serious upgrading to the interior pass rush. Because it will make such a big difference. Because we, we look around. We look around the league. I mean, especially if you watched the Super Bowl last night. And you see a lot of times the Rams were just sending four. And they were making, they were getting there. They they had a lot of pressure on Joe Burrow. You saw, you see the Titans, and I know context definitely matters too, because you look at the quality of a lot of these defensive lines. But when you have quality on that defensive line, you make everybody else's job easier. Because if you have quality on that defensive line where you can just rush four and you can get pressure. That alleviates so much off of your linebackers. You really want to see Patrick Queen make that jump, don't you? Alleviate that pressure off of him. You really want to see that secondary have more interceptions and just be a lot better than they have been? That interior pass rush alleviates pressure off of them. It, it just it, it makes the defense so much better in such a simple way. So it's important that the Ravens really, like really, uh, take care of that defensive line this offseason. And when I say that, please do not think I am neg negating what needs to be done on offense, especially with the offensive line. But in regards to Calais Campbell coming back, great. Well, they still got to make it happen. But it will be great if they can make it happen. But that simply can't be the end. Team Keep It Clean, I love y'all. Eric DaCosta, show the Ravens team. Show, show us that you love the, the Ravens and, and you provide not just bodies, not just bodies, not just, oh, okay, see, we, well, we, 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 got a, we got a defensive tackle now in the sixth, seventh round. No, 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 no. It needs to be quality. However they come about investing that quality player, not a project guy, but a quality player, a quality players on that defensive line, whether it be in free agency, whether it be through the draft, whether it be through a trade, whether it be whatever, it needs to be quality 
over quantity. That is my, that's my offseason uh, saying for these Ravens. This offseason, quality over quantity. Let's go for the best and not just go for somebody. Team keep it clean. We out. See my boy, he like gotta made it. Gotta made it. Boy, that's my homie, ain't that right and graven. Right and graven. Shout out to graven.